Okay, just want to cover the impulse response. So the impulse response of a system we call HT, and it's the way the system would respond if an impulse was put into the system. So a short, sharp uh, input, and then how the system responds is called the impulse response. And we know for linear systems that it's a, uh, what happens is a convolution. That's what's happening inside a linear system. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at putting an impulse into this system. And if we put a delta function into the system, so xt equals delta t, uh, and if we put that waveform in, which is 0 until some point, in which case let's call it time 0, and then we put that impulse, which is a delta function, it's infinitesimally thin, but it has an area of 1, and then it's 0 afterwards. And the impulse response is defined as how the system responds to that impulse. And let's say it does this. So let's say we did a, we cracked a whip and it makes a very sharp crack and that would be so nothing is coming in here this is a, a microphone and then all of a sudden we crack a whip and then nothing afterwards and let's say our microphone suddenly responds very quickly uh, but then uh, dies down the sound dies down and it takes a little bit of uh, time for the microphone to return to its st steady state and so this would be yt that's why we call it an impulse response so what we can see here is if we convolve a function with an impulse response, so it, with an impulse, then we get the function back. So here's our system with an impulse response h. It's been convolved with a delta function, and the output, as we would expect, it responds when the impulse comes, and then the function follows. Okay, so let's look at if we put an impulse at a different time. So let's say we had an impulse, our delta function was at a different time, let's say 4 for example, time equals 4, then what would you expect would happen? There's been, at time equals 0, there's been no input to the system, so you wouldn't expect anything to happen then, still wouldn't expect anything until time equals 4, then you would expect the system would respond and it's had an impulse put into it, so you would expect the impulse response to then follow starting at time equals 4. And indeed that is what happens, uh, so delaying an impulse delays the impulse response. That's the, what you would expect. But the higher level here is you can observe that if you're convolving a function with a delta function that is at a different time, so not at zero, then the result is that your function gets shifted to be centered at the time when the delta function is. So that's a general property that you can uh, recall and remember. It's important to remember. It makes things easier uh, for lots of other calculations. Just to remember that if you convolve a function with a delta function, the result is it shifts your function to be centered at the place at the time where the delta function occurred.